Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss some questions based on LCM or HCF of given numbers and how to identify whether we have to find one of these for the given questions. Now, I have gathered some questions from the past papers and segregated them as type 1, type 2 and type 3 questions. So, let us start with the first question which comes under type 1. The greatest number which divides both 30 and 80 leaving remainder 2 and 3 respectively is. Now here they have given that the greatest number which divides both 30 and 80. So this greatest number has to be smaller than 30 and 80 because it has to divide these two numbers. So we have to think about finding highest common factor. It's a common number which can divide 30 and 80 both. If you were thinking about finding the LCM, the LCM of 30 and 80 is 240. So 240 cannot be a number which divides 30 and 80 as it is a bigger number than these two. So remember the keyword that is greatest number which divides tells you that you have to find the HCF of the given numbers. Now let us look at a second question of this type. What is the greatest possible speed at which a man can walk 52 km and 91 km in an exact number of hours? So first of all, we have a keyword here that is greatest possible speed and second way that is understanding the question. So here let us consider that there are two roads. The first road is of 52 kilometers and the second road is of 91 kilometers. So the man is trying to walk as fast as possible in exact number of hours. Say he takes into consideration three hours. So in three hours, he has to run for a distance of 52 kilometers as well as 91 kilometers. So there is a common number we have to find with which he has to run. That is common number for the speed. And since we are looking for the common number between these two, we are talking about the HCF to be found for these two numbers. So the HCF of 52 and 91 gives the maximum possible speed or greatest possible speed or largest possible speed of the man. Now let us look at another question of the same type. The least number that is divisible by all the numbers from 1 to 10, both inclusive. So what do we have to find here, the LCM or the HCF? Look at the words, the least number that is divisible by. Now here the least number that is divisible or that can get divided by all the numbers 1 and 10 is. So it has to be a bigger number which could be divided by 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on till 10. Since we are talking about a larger number which could be divided by a smaller number, we are talking about the LCM of the given numbers. So we have to find the LCM of all the numbers from 1 to 10 in this question. Now let us look at the fourth example. So the fourth question is, what is the greatest possible speed at which a girl can walk 95 meters and 171 meters in an exact number of minutes? So you can pause the video and try to find out whether you have to get the LCM or HCF of the given question. So here again the keyword is greatest possible speed. So we have to find out the HCF of the given numbers that is 95 and 171 meters. This question is very much similar to the previous question we did. Now let us move on to the type 2 questions. Now this is the first question under type 2. Three bells ring at intervals of 6, 12 and 18 minutes. If all the three bells rang at 6 am, when will they ring together again? So here they have given that there are three bells which ring at intervals of 6, 12 and 18. Intervals of 6, 12 and 18 means multiples of 6, 12 and 18. So let me write down the multiples first. So here I have written the multiples of 6, 12 and 18. Now at 6 am all the three bells went off. So we have to see what is the next minimum time taken by the three bells to ring again. So here you can see that 36, 36 and 36 is a common number between 6, 12 and 18. So this is the next minimum number at which the bells will ring again. Since we found the lowest common multiple for these three numbers, we had to actually find out the LCM for this question. So the key word to find LCM is together again, meet again, together and there are many which you will be seeing at the end of this video. 
Now let us look at the second question of this type. The traffic lights at three different road crossings change after every 48 seconds, 72 seconds and 108 seconds respectively. If they change simultaneously at 7 am, at what time will they change together next? So again we had to find the multiples of 48, 72 and 108. So out of those multiples, which is the smallest multiple common to these three? gives us the time at which the traffic lights will simultaneously next change. So here again we are going to find LCM and the keyword you can see again there is together. Let us look at the third question now. Three bells ring at intervals of 4, 7 and 14 minutes. All three rang at 6 am. When will they ring together again? So you can pause the video and try to identify whether you have to get the LCM or HCF for this question. So looking at the keyword we can say that we have to find the LCM. Now let us move on to the next question. In a formula racing competition, the time taken by two racing cars A and B to complete one round of the track is 30 minutes and P minutes respectively. If the cars meet again at the starting point for the first time after 90 minutes and the HCF of 30 comma P is 15 then the value of P is now here if you look 30 minutes and P minutes is the given two numbers and the question continues as if the cars meet again for the first time after 90 minutes which means 90 becomes the lowest common multiple common to 30 and P if for the first time was not mentioned in the question, we couldn't have said that 90 minutes is the LCM. But since it is mentioned clearly that they meet for the first time, this becomes the least common multiple or the lowest common multiple. So here 90 minutes becomes the LCM. Now let us try to analyze another question from this type. Three alarm clocks ring their alarms at regular intervals of 20 minutes. 25 minutes and 30 minutes respectively. If they first beep together at 12 noon, at what time will they beep again for the first time? So you can pause the video, give it a minute and think whether you have to find the LCM or HCF for the given numbers. So here we have to find out the LCM. Because this is the first time after 12 noon, all the three alarms are going to ring again. So this becomes the lowest common multiple of 20, 25 and 30. Now let us move on to the questions of type 3 category. A forester wants to plant 66 apple trees, 88 banana trees and 110 mango trees in equal rows in terms of number of trees. Also, he wants to make distinct roots of the trees, only one type of tree in one row. Find the minimum number of rows required. Now here we have to find out minimum number of rows. Since minimum number is asked, the number has to be lesser than 66, 88 and 110. So here we have to find out the HCF of the given numbers. So looking at the keyword minimum number of, we can say that we have to find the HCF over here. Now let us look at the next question. National Art Convention got registrations from students from all parts of the country of which 60 students are interested in music, 84 students are interested in dance and 108 students are interested in handicrafts. For optimum cultural exchange, organizers wish to keep them in minimum number of groups such that each group consists of students interested in the same art form and the number of students in each group is same. Find the number of students in each group, find the number of groups in each art form and how many rooms are required if each group will be allotted a room. Now looking at the keyword which is minimum number of groups, again we can easily say that we have to find the highest common factor for the given three numbers which is 60, 84 and 108. Since they want to make a group of minimum number of students which means the number has to be smaller than 60, 84 and 108, we got to find HCF. Now these were the set of questions which I prepared to explain you to identify LCM and HCF. Now let us look at the keywords. For the HCF, look for the keywords greatest number which divides, 
greatest number which when divides minimum number of greatest possible greatest number of largest possible i might have missed some of the keywords so if you know any keywords let me know in the comment section below and for the lcm it is least number which when divided by together together again meet again smallest number shortest leaves at same time both these are some of the keywords using which you can find the lcm but use the method of understanding the question first logically if you are not able to understand then look for the keywords keywords sometimes may work sometimes may not so my suggestion is to understand the meaning of the questions logically and then find out the hcf or lcm now i have prepared a list of questions which you can give a try to identify whether you have to find the hcf or lcm so these are five questions prepared so you can pause the video and give it a try and let me know in the comment section whether it is hcf or lcm for these five questions i hope you have understood all the steps and like the video if you know any other way of finding these lcm and hcf of the given questions do comment below and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching